Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video lesson, I shall be talking about normality. Now, what is normality? Normality is simply a concentration unit. Now, going further, normality is expressed as normal. Okay? Normality is expressed as normal. Now, what is normality? Normality, the formula for normality is given to be this. Normality is number of equivalent over liters of solution. Number of equivalent over liters of solution. Now the question we ask ourselves, what is number of equivalent? Number of equivalent, okay, number of equivalent is given to be this mass over equivalent weight. Mass over equivalent weight. Now, another question. What is equivalent weight? Equivalent weight. Equivalent weight is equal to molar mass, molar mass over number of reactive units. Okay, molar mass over numbers of reactive units. So, with all of these equations and formulas written on the board, we can go, just get an equation for what now? Normality. Now, let's go over and get one equation for what now? Normality. Now, you can see here I wrote normality is number of equivalent over distance of solution, whereby numbers of equivalent now is given to be mass over equivalent weight. So what's going to simply happen here is that normality will not be equal to mass over equivalent weight mass over equivalent weight dividing liters of solution now when you are dividing liters of solution it simply means you are dividing volume okay volume in liters or dmq so what's going to happen here is this normality becomes something like this normality will now be mass dividing okay equivalent weight okay dividing volume over one now changing our sign from division to multiplication volume is simply going to come down by one going to go up so normality becomes something like this mass over equivalent weight mass over equivalent weight Okay, times 1 over volume, mass over equivalent weight times 1 over volume. So, let's impute our formula for equivalent weight, which is this now, molar mass over numbers of reactive units. So, normality in this case becomes something like this now. Mass over equivalent weight, the mass over equivalent weight, which is molar mass over number of reactive units. So it is molar mass dividing number of reacting units times 1 over volume. Now, normality becomes something like this. Mass over 1 Dividing molar mass over number of reactive units times 1 over volume. Okay? Times 1 over volume. Meanwhile, changing the division sign to multiplication, it becomes something like this. Normality will now be equal to mass. Okay? times number of reacting units okay dividing 
molar mass because molar mass is already down times the volume okay so now this is the formula for solving questions pertaining to normality but now the question we ask ourselves now is what is number of reactive units now number of reactive units is simply number of constituent species taking part in a reaction it's simply like the basicity of an acid or the acidity of a base from our knowledge of acid bases and salt whereby talking about basicity of acids example H2SO4 is an acid and we all know it is dibasic so when it is dibasic it means that the basicity is equal to 2 okay now for normality the concept of normality now the numbers of reactive units of H2SO4 is regarded to the 2 because it is dibasic using compounds like ACL we all know it is monobasic or if you don't call it that you say it's monoprotic and it's given to be one. Okay, so the number of reactive units of this compound ACL is regarded to what now? Mono basic and it is one. Now talking about bases, okay, we regard it to the acidity of bases. So using compound like sodium hydroxide, you can see it just have no more hydroxyl group. So it is regarded to be what now mono acidic, okay. Mono acidic and mono acidic is given to be one. Okay, using compound like calcium hydroxide. Okay, it is diacidic. Okay, and if it's diacidic, it's given to be two. Okay, like that and like that for acidity of the base. But talking about oxidizing and reducing reducing agent. Okay, oxidizing and reducing agent. We have compounds like that is very common so when solving normality questions okay the numbers of reality unit is given to be five okay whereby for the compound k2cr2o7 the numbers of reality unit is given to be six and lastly for the popular compound called ammonia okay the number of reality units of ammonia is given to be one so these are for reducing our oxidizing agent while these are for bases and these are for, are, are for acids so my point here is this for number of reactive units is simply the number of constituent species taking part in a reaction so talking about acid you are talking about the basicity of an acid and for h 2 so 4 if it's the compound given in the question when solving problems on normality you simply say the the numbers of reactive units given to be two for acl1 for sodium hydroxide one for calcium hydroxide one, for KMnO4, five k 2 ammonia one, and take note, ammonia is also called as Z. Ammonia is also called as Z. Now you can see the formula here for normality is simply mass over molar mass times number of reactive units over volume. So this is the formula for normality. Now let's quickly talk about some questions to understand the concept of normality better now let's quickly talk about this question written on the board on normality now you can see the question says a solution of sulfuric acid contain 86 grams of h2so4 per liter solution full stop calculate the normality of this solution now without wasting so much time what is the formula for normality now normality is simply mass times number of reacting units over molar mass times volume. Okay? Now let's impute our parameters. This is normality. And what is the mass in this question? 86 grams. This is the mass. Okay? 86 grams. 
What is the number of react units? If you could recall, I said number of react units is gotten from the compound given in the question. Meanwhile, it's simply the special constituent that it was in a reaction. Now look at the compound here given in the question, H2SO4. And I said earlier on that H2SO4 is the compound that is diabasic. So it simply means that the number of reactive units should be what now? 2. Diabasic 2 times 2. Molar mass of H2SO4. Okay. Hydrogen is 1 times 2 plus 32 plus 16 times 4. Okay. Because the atomic mass of sulfur is 32 for oxygen, 16 times 4. For hydrogen is 1 times 2. So we get. 98 grams per mole okay so here become 98 grams per mole meanwhile the volume is per liter just a liter one liters more pressure calculator we get 1.754 normal so the SI unit for normality is given to be what now normal so I believe now we all understand the concept of normality. Thanks for watching.